Hi guys, this is Tim Queen and today we're going to talk about self-promotion and comments and how to leave better meaningful comments that actually get you some results. <music> Now, what is self-promotional comments? Let me give you a few examples of self-promotional comments I have found on some of my LinkedIn posts, on some of my Twitter replies, YouTube videos. There's all kinds of comments that they usually work something like this. It's someone saying, thank you for sharing this content. And then they say, by the way, check out my article, my LinkedIn post, check out my YouTube video, check out this video. Sometimes they don't even bother to say thank you. They just put the link to the article, but they just say like, check out this link about blah, blah, blah. And it's usually related to what I was talking about in my video. Let's start by first explaining the logic. Why do people do that? So the hope is if I am a big name and I'm driving a lot of traffic through a video, some people will read the comment section and then they can sieve off some of that to their own content. It's usually happening where people have like no audience, no followers, no subscribers. And they're hoping that they can get some people from the popular video to get to their audience. First of all, this is very impolite. It's just like trying to steal someone's subscriber as followers. Secondly, it's not contributing any value at all. Just sharing this content is not showing respect to the content creator. It's not contributing. You're not giving any feedback. You're not showing any appreciation. You're not adding any additional information or additional value there in the comment section. You want something, but you're not giving something back. So if you want to leave good comments, you have to keep in mind you want to create a balance. If you want to take something, that's fine. You want to get some followers. We all understand this, but you have to give something first to make it even, to contribute to the original content creator. Now, let me give you some examples how we can actually leave some meaningful comments. The first one is you can show appreciation, thanking the content creator about what you learned, how this would help them, how this would be useful for their business. That's the first thing, showing appreciation. The second thing is contributing something that was missing or something that could be an additional information. For example, you might have a list of five tips on LinkedIn marketing. You you might think of number six or seven. This is helping people. Now there is additional ideas and you're also giving the content creator some food for thoughts about creating additional content in the future. Now the third type of meaningful comment that you can leave is you can ask questions. I'm not talking about, about the meaning of life or asking someone something completely unreasonable. Here is like my life story. What would you do? Ask something simple and specific that the person can actually answer. This can either be the content creator himself or herself or could be someone from the audience really reading the comment. By you engaging in the comments and asking questions, you're creating engagement for that content creator, which is in turn helping the video spread. There is something you're giving. If you're saying something smart, some people will naturally click onto your profile and you will get some followers of that back. Now, if you have an additional piece of content that you want to share, you can start by appreciating someone's post, adding some additional value, and then maybe asking for feedback. If you have an additional resource, put this at the end. But first, you want to start by thanking, giving value, and then at the end, you can share share your post. Now, if you want to be especially polite, you might ask the content creator, would you mind I created this resource? Would that be interesting if I share this here? You can ask for permission. This way you are making sure you're not getting banned from future posts because you don't want to get banned or blocked by the person. Now this lady coming to my YouTube channel and she left a video on every single one of my 100 videos about LinkedIn marketing promoting the same video. And guess what? She got blocked because this is not adding any value. It's just someone like coming to my post and spamming. The best way I can recommend to you is to actually spend some time to write a longer meaningful comment. The same formula again, appreciation, and then adding some value and asking some questions. If you can add this continuously, you will naturally start building a relationship with the content creator, him or herself. And once you have this relationship, it opens up the door to future collaboration for maybe doing something like together on video, where you can bring some of your audience over to them and they can bring some of their audience over to you. This is a much smarter way than just trying the cheap way and trying to steal someone's stuff. Invest the time, build a real relationship, add value first, and then you will receive. Now let me know in the comments, what do you think about commenting? And if you want to get more videos about LinkedIn marketing and social media marketing, make sure that you subscribe and turn the notification bell on to get email updates when I release my next video.